What's good everyone, Logan Stern here, and today I'm gonna be making a video targeted towards my high school audience. So whether you're a freshman, sophomore, junior, senior, or you just finished eighth grade and you're going into high school, this video is gonna be made for you because I'm gonna be talking tonight about my tips for success in high school, what you should be focusing on, what you should not be focusing on. Basically my advice towards high school based off my experience, what I've done, what worked for me, what did not work for me, and also what I've seen with other people, like how I've observed what their actions did and where it led to, like, long term. So, essentially, you're going to high school, you just finished up 8th grade, middle school. So, high school's a different world than 8th grade. It's a much, much bigger place. In 8th grade, there's like maybe like 100 to 200 students, depending on the school you go to. Not very many, but there's like maybe like 4 sports, something like that. Usually, like, I think at my school, it's just like basketball baseball, track, what else? Volleyball, there are four sports you could do. Versus high school, you go there, there's a lot more stuff you can do. There's all kinds of sports. There's like football, basketball, baseball, swimming, track, distance, short distance, pole vault, all these events you can do in there, uh, soccer, volleyball, all this other stuff you can do. A lot more activities available. Clubs, that too. And just a much bigger variety of people. Uh, a much bigger variety. This is where the cliques kind of start to form. This is where they actually truly form. You see, like you see, uh, in my high school, like there are people that like, are obviously didn't really fit in the cliques, but there are some stereotypical like uh, groups you would see, like you see in movies and stuff, like stereotypical athletes, jocks, you want to call them, nerds, people in like drama club, emo people, anime nerds. Uh, what else? And degenerates that just partied all the time, that do nothing with their lives. And there's popular people. A lot more of a bigger variety of like groups of people. On top of that, this is where you have, you have a lot more freedom than middle school. In middle school, teachers have to kind of stay on you so you don't fill your classes. In high school, the teachers will try to remind you sometimes, but really, they're not gonna care too much. It's on you. And you have more freedom. It's not like college where you can just do whatever you want, really, because you're an adult. You ultimately have more freedom and you have a lot more choices you can make. There's a lot of new things going on. This is where a lot of things that I consider to be hedonistic pleasures and the degenerate behaviors, they start to really come on. You start to see stuff like, this is where a lot of the partying every weekend happens. A lot of drugs start to happen. Weed, alcohol, people doing stuff in the bathroom, nicotine addictions, people having sex in the bathroom, shit like that. A lot of that stuff starts to begin in high school. and. I'm really gonna tell you guys how you, what your mindset should be towards that stuff and how you should, what you should be focusing on in high school because at the end of the day, these next four, four years, they're gonna determine where you go. They like, your actions determine like what you do, where you're gonna be able to go, if you're gonna be able to go to college, what you're gonna do after high school and what you're kind of setting up your life. This is where you truly find yourself and I'm gonna be talking about what you should be focusing on as a person in high school and what you should try to avoid. Okay, so, I'm gonna be splitting off in the five tips I'm gonna give. So the first are gonna be things you should be focusing on, two things, and the last are gonna be ones you should avoid and not focus on, not worry about. Okay, so the first thing that you should focus on is gonna be obviously your grades, because obviously this is what you're mainly at school for. You're there to work, gain knowledge, and get good grades. So ultimately, you should get the best grades you can in my opinion. Do the best you can. So. Really the kind of grades you get though, it matters what you're trying to do after high school. If you're trying to go to college, get scholarships, you should be aiming to get A's and B's. Get the highest grades you can, try to get A's. If you're a person going to trade school, or trying to go in the military, or you're just trying to go to a job right after high school, then I'm gonna be honest, you know, I think you should, I still recommend trying to get the best grades you can. I think you should still try to achieve academic excellence, but at the same time, you truly don't really need to do that if you're just trying to, if you're not gonna try to go to college after high school. You just need to pass your classes. So if that's you and you don't care much for grades, aim to get C's and pass your classes. No matter what, you need to pass your classes and get your diploma so that way you graduate high school and you don't just waste four years of your life and throw them down the drain. Now, if you're trying to go to college, like I said, get the best grades you can. So grades, focus on that, study for your classes, spend time doing that and realize it's gonna be a long-term investment that's gonna be good for the future, especially if you're going to college because you need to get good grades so you can get scholarships. You can start taking classes early, get more credit for college out of the way. That way you don't have to pay a ton of as much money when you have to go to college because college is really, really expensive. So that's my first thing you need to focus on, grades. 
Okay, so the second thing you need to focus on is being on your purpose. Trying to find what you like doing and getting good at it. So this is the time where I talk about my video, like my main, my first video I made on purpose about how to get on your purpose. Usually when you're in high school, you're young, you don't, you don't always exactly know what you're gonna do and you kind of find out what you wanna do. So the way you find your purpose is you become the best at stuff you like doing. Try to master all areas of your life, but really focus on stuff you enjoy doing like and become the best you can at it achieve mastery at it and what you what you're gonna find is that you're either gonna find your purpose directly in that or it's gonna lead you or it's gonna cause like serious events that eventually lead you towards finding your purpose that was up to me at least sophomore year, i really started focusing on powerlifting i got injured then i discovered physical therapy now i want to start going now i want to go to physical therapy and I'm still really into lifting and still trying to become the best I can at it. I start, I'm really getting into bodybuilding now. I want to do that. So really focusing on lifting got me, was being on my purpose at the time and helped me discover what I want to do. So now what you want to do for your purpose is going to be different for everybody. Do stuff you like doing. Maybe it could be a sport. Maybe it could be a club. Maybe it could be a performing art, whatever it is. Get as good as you can at it. Uh, if you're good at football, become really good at football. If you like doing soccer, become good at soccer. You like track, get as good as you can at track. If you like band, get good at your instrument. I was a band. Uh, if you like choir, get good at singing. Whatever it is, get as good as you can at it and you'll find your purpose in it or it'll lead to events towards it. So get on your purpose. That's my second piece of advice. Find what you like doing and become the best you can at it. So that's basically it for that. And you should really be focusing on it and working hard in your free time towards it. It should be something you enjoy doing. Okay, so now that's my second tip out of the way. Let's get into the third tip. This is going to be making friends and better relationships with people that are valuable. So people that are a proponent to your life and you're also a proponent to their life. They're friends that make you feel like you are worth something. You're not just there because you need the validation. They actually help you and they're supportive of you. And the same thing goes uh, to them. You're actually helpful to them too. Really focus on this because you can meet some great friends in high school. I met a few of my, I met like my best friend now and other people too. I met a lot of people I knew in high school and they're helping me right now. I still talk to some of my great friends in high school, one of my best friends. Really focus on meeting good like-minded people that are gonna help you. And one thing I wanna talk about too is, you know, with relationships in high school. You know, you can actually, even though it's rare, and probably not gonna happen. You can potentially meet your future wife or husband in high school. It happened to my parents, happened to a few of my uncles and aunts. They met each other in high school, and to be honest, I think like 20 years ago, 20, 30, 40, 50 years ago, when people like married earlier, I think relationships were better back then. They weren't as toxic and destruct and self-destructive as a lot of them are now because people weren't just trying to have some hoe phase in their life. They didn't go through an emotionally immature time like in their 20s and get married when they're older. They actually did it when they're younger. So I actually think that, you know, you can do that potentially. So if you can meet someone like a relationship, like you can build a relationship that's gonna be good and long lasting in high school, do it. That's what I say you should do. But essentially you wanna to try to build good connections with people, whether it's friends or people like in, your, in the other in the activities like doing or relationships, just build the connections that'll help you long term because you can keep these for a long time. All right, so those are basically the three things you need to be mainly focusing on in high school. So first is gonna be getting good grades so you pass your classes. And second is gonna be being on your purpose, working towards your goals. And third is gonna be building good friendships and relationships that are long lasting. All right, so I've gone over the things you should be focusing on. Now let's get into things you should not worry about, things that are not important, that can actually hold you back. Okay. So the first thing that's gonna hold you back and that you should not worry about is worrying about being popular. So really, being popular in high school doesn't matter in the long term. It does not mean anything in the real world. I'm not saying being popular is necessarily a bad thing, but you're not gonna get anything out of it. There's no point. Besides the validation and pleasure you get at being popular in high school, you get nothing out of it. You really don't. Especially if it's for the wrong reasons. If it's for the wrong reasons, it can hurt you. So. The thing is, like, I never really understood why some of these people are popular. Some, it was obvious. It was like, some are great athletes. I'm like, okay, that makes sense. Some were just, like, good looking. I'm like, that makes sense, too. Some, they were just there for no reason. I didn't get it. But some people are popular because they have parties every weekend. 
they participate in those kind of behaviors that I'm going to talk about in my next point. But uh, anyways, being popular doesn't matter. Instead, you should focus on your purpose and having friends that are actually meaningful. People that actually support you instead of just people who just follow you and worship you. Like, what are you going to get out of being popular? You're going to get nothing out of it. You're, you're, you can't monetize that when you're older. It doesn't mean anything in the real world. And if you're popular for the right reasons, like for doing, like for having good grades or being a great athlete, you're getting like scholarships to schools, then it's not the popularity that's actually getting you there. I hope you understand that what's getting you there is your success and your hard work rather than your popularity. It doesn't do anything for you. Besides maybe having some Instagram clout when you're younger, you can't monetize this when you're older. You can't get anything out of it. So really, don't worry about it. If you're popular, cool. If not, oh well, who cares? Just work and work. Work on your grades, work on your purpose, make good friends. But that's essentially it for being popular. It doesn't matter. I'm not saying it's bad to be popular if you, if you, as long as you're not popular for the right reasons, but just because it does not mean anything in the real world. All right. This is the final point. This is going to be probably the big, one of the bigger points I'm going to make. And it is going to be related to all the new stuff you're seeing in high school. So like I said, you just got into high school. You're seeing people partying every weekend, getting wasted every weekend, doing weed, smoking weed, doing shrooms, all these drugs, having nicotine addictions, you know, doing stuff in the bathroom, having sex in the bathroom, all this hedonistic, pleasurable behavior that's degenerate. It really is if you have this lifestyle, it's degenerate, but you see all this stuff going on. What you need to do is you need to reject that stuff, not worry about it. Instead, focus on your purpose and your goals. Focus on doing good in high school. Focus on your goals and your interests and gain as good as you can that stuff instead because ultimately that stuff is a distraction. You get nothing out of it. In fact, it can hurt you long term if you become attached to that kind of lifestyle and you're just gonna waste time really. You're gonna just you're just gonna squander your opportunities and focus on hedonism if you choose to live that lifestyle. So the thing is that going to parties and getting wasted, you're you get nothing out of it. Like, give me one if you give me one reason, like one good thing you get out of it, one long term benefit that besides the fact that it feels good. Because really that's a short term benefit. It's instant pleasure, which I believe is the enemy. You get nothing out of it give me one benefit and maybe i'll change my mind on this but i know you can't because there are none you know you go you get wasted and you're you feel like shit you go home pass out and you're so hungover you can't do anything the next day see you, it's a waste of time you get nothing out of it and if you start these habits now you're going to be stuck to it later you know like i see it a lot people have to drink to have fun they have to smoke weed to have fun or they have nicotine addictions see I never really did this stuff in high school. I never like had these kind of behaviors. I was focused on my purpose and goals. I didn't care about going to parties. I didn't really care about smoking weed, doing and drinking alcohol. And I think I got a lot more done because I didn't care about this stuff. I never really participated in it. And I'll admit like there are times like I talk about in college where I tried some of the stuff out and it kind of messed me up my first semester. And you know, I'm going to talk about this too, nicotine addictions. So many people have nicotine addictions. It's bad. It's a waste of money. What do you get out of it? You get nothing out of it. I, I'll admit, you know, I'm being completely honest and transparent on this channel. I vaped a couple times in college, just some people had it, but I've never owned one. I've never had any stuff. I've never like done it more than maybe like once a month. And guess what? I don't have a nicotine addiction. Meanwhile, all these people who are sophomores in high school are like, oh, I'm wasting my money on nicotine because eh, I have this addiction. Like. Bro, stop doing that bullshit. Cut that out. Maybe you realize, oh, if I cut that out, I save money. Think long term, guys. Discipline over pleasure. I'm trying to say this all the time. Value long term success over pleasure. So basically, avoid this stuff. What do you do instead? Focus on your grades and your purpose. Instead of using your weekends to party and waste time, use it to work harder. Like I said, I cared more about lifting weights than going to parties. People would like, people, a lot of people in high school, their mindset was, I'm going to jack around this weekend and get wasted and do nothing. But my mindset was, I'm like, the weekend's here, awesome. I get to sleep more, study for my tests, eat a lot of food. I didn't kill more, and I'm going to kill more workouts this weekend because I have all this extra food and recovery. I'm going to hit a five by five, a four or five on deadlift tonight. That was my mindset. And guess what? 
I'm much happier now. I have fitness habits. I have like good long-term habits. I'm not addicted to this stuff. I'm not addicted to pleasure. I'm not a slave to pleasure. I have control over myself. And I think it's important you just realize this hedonistic pleasure, you get nothing out of it. And if you stick to it, it can really cause long-term bad habits down the road. Just to sum things up, you know, I want to kind of go over my experience real quick. So I really didn't really focus on having a hedonistic lifestyle in um, high school. I focused more on being on my purpose and getting good grades. And as a result, right now, I'm at college, I have a full tuition scholarship. I built good fitness habits. I focused on my purpose rather than being popular. And as a result, I'm on track to graduate a year earlier in, in, high, in college and I'm gonna be able to start doing online coaching soon. So essentially, I got, I'm getting, I got a lot more out of being focused and disciplined rather than just focusing on pleasure. But that's all I have to say, guys. Uh, thank you so much for watching. Please like, share, and subscribe. I know I might have sounded a bit like cocky or a bit like arrogant, but real, I'm not trying to be. I'm just trying to tell you guys how it is and what you need to do and what you should not do. Because really, if you live a life of pleasure, it's gonna cause pain down the road because these things, there's side effects to them. Whether people like to admit it or not, these things have consequences. So just realize that, guys, and just focus and think long term. But yeah, guys, thank you so much for watching. Please like, share, and subscribe. Share this to someone in high school any year or someone that's not making the right choice in high school so they can hear my advice, switch their life around, whatever it might be. Apply it to yourself, too. But yeah, guys, thank you so much for watching. Please like, share, and subscribe, and I'll see you all in the next video.